In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Fe plus CuNO3. This is iron plus copper 2 nitrate. So the first thing we need to do is write the balanced molecular equation. This is our molecular equation, and it looks like it's balanced. One iron, one copper, and then two nitrates here, two nitrates here. So this is balanced. Then we need to write the states for each substance. So for iron, that's all by itself. That's a metal. That's going to be a solid. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble. So this will be aqueous. It'll dissolve in water, dissociate into its ions. Again, another nitrate, so that's going to be aqueous. And copper will be a solid. This is a single displacement reaction. The iron pushes the copper out. It's all by itself. Then the iron and the nitrate, they're joined together. Now that we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes apart into their ions. And that'll give us the complete or total ionic equation. So the strong electrolytes, those are the ones with aqueous after it. So let's split these apart. We have nitrate is always one minus, and we have two of them. Copper is going to be two plus. Over here, we said the nitrate's one minus, we have two, so the iron is two plus. So let's write the equation. We can't split iron apart, it's just an atom, and it's a solid too. We don't split solids apart. So we'll have Fe, and I'll write the states at the end. Let's not do that right now. Plus Cu2 plus, that's the copper ion, copper 2 ion. Plus we have NO3 minus, the nitrate ion, NO3 minus. But this 2, this little subscript, that means we have two of these. So we need a coefficient of 2 in front. Those are the reactants. The products here, we have Fe2 plus, that's the iron 2 ion, plus nitrate NO3 minus, and we said we have a subscript of there, so that'll be two, and then copper, Cu, that's the solid. So this is the total or complete ionic equation. Now we get to cross out the spectator ions. These appear on both sides of the total or complete ionic equation. In essence, they don't change, so we're not interested in them. The only thing I see that's the same would be that two NO3 minus, the two nitrate ions, I have it here in the reactants and here in the products, I can cross that out, but everything else is different. Iron and iron 2 plus, those are very different. So this is going to be our net ionic equation. Fe plus Cu2 plus gives us Fe2 plus plus Cu. Let me clean this up and I'll put the states in and we'll have the net ionic equation for Fe plus Cu NO3 2. So this is the net ionic equation for Fe plus CuNO3 2, iron plus copper 2 nitrate. We have the solid iron plus the copper ion. That gives us the iron ion plus solid copper. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.